Now, if the background looks a little pink, that's because I got a grow light over here. And um, I got my seedlings going for my garden, for my spring planting. So um, that's kind of why I'm a little discolored today. Um, looks like I, you know, I got a little <laughs> sun going here, but it's not. It's just, yeah. um, one important thing to know if you're going to get rabbits is what do you feed them? That is a very, very important, as important as giving them water and giving them a proper habitat or cage. The one thing that's very important is feeding them. Rabbits are not like chickens or dogs or cats. They're very specific to what they can, and there are things that they can't eat. They're a lot different than a lot of other that pets you might have or other um, livestock. If you raise them for meat, you call them livestock. If you raise them as pets, you know they're your pets, they're your beloved little animals. But they have specific things that they need to eat. And that's what I'm going to discuss in this video. Now it's very important to know what to feed your rabbits and what not to feed your rabbits. They have a very, I would, you could say delicate or they're very different digestive system than humans do. <laughs> so a lot of people's perspective on what animals eat is human. You know, you feed your dogs things they shouldn't be eating. A lot of people do that as dog owners. A dog sits there and has that look on his face. And you got to give him something. You know, that's me. But uh, it's something I probably shouldn't do. But, you know, occasionally I do let my dogs have some treats uh, from the table. But rabbits aren't like that. Rabbits are, um, for no better term, they're vegans. You know, they, 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 eat, a, they eat a definitely a vegan diet, but not even, uh, but more... It's even more restrictive than what vegans eat. I mean, they don't eat no grains. There's a lot of things that, you know, a vegans can eat that rabbits can't. So don't say, well, I'm a vegan. I'll just feed my rabbits the stuff that I eat. That won't work either. So you can't feed your rabbits your table scraps. You can't feed, like I just throw stuff out to the chickens. They'll eat just about anything. Rabbits are far different than that. And so I'm going to go over what I feed my rabbits and what you should feed your rabbits and choices you can give you can have to feed your rabbits as well what you feed your rabbits depends on where you live and what's available to you where you live whether you have a, a feed a feed meal there or you have to go tractor supplier if you have to go to pet smart or someplace like that now a tractor supply is a good source they have a lot sometimes they run out of stuff you know they don't keep their shells stock as well as some other tractor supplies do um so that you have to take that into account um you i like to go to the local uh feed mill because they're consistent on what they have and so that's where i've started buying now you go to pet city or pet smart or you know the other pet places and they will sell you small bags you know 10 to 20 pound bags of feed well with my 10 I think I have 11 rabbits right now. And with those 11 rabbits, we go through 50 pounds every two weeks. So that's about 25 pounds a week we go through with our rabbits. Um, so you got to take that into consideration, you know. Um, my rabbits, I feed them a cup a day. That's what me and my wife's rabbits are the standard size, you know, the commercial size, they call it. Um, of, most of your rabbits are that size. You got many rabbits are going to need less rabbits. You got some of the giant rabbits, and I don't know, maybe they eat more. Maybe I'm, I don't know, because I've never raised, raised the giant rabbits. So I don't know how much they eat, but mine get a cup a day. You don't want to overfeed them. You don't want to underfeed them. You underfeed them, 
you could stunt their growth, especially if they're their growth. When they're young, you feed them as much as they want until they get to adult size, and then you feed them a cup a day. Um, but your food choices vary. Um, luckily, if you have a tractor supply near you or um, rural supply, I think it's called rural. Um, there's a rural king, rural king, which if you're lucky to have one of those nearby. And there's other stores that do sell them. Even Walmart sometimes will sell rabbit feed. They do sell chicken feed out in this part of the country anyway. So um, you you got to find out you got where you're going to get your food source. And if you go to these like Pet City, Pet Petco, and Pet Smart, you're going to pay more for your food. Uh, it's better to buy in bulk, buy like 50 pound bags, <clears throat> and get you a uh, little metal can that holds 50 pounds of feed in it and that's what I use to keep the feed in case you get rodents or some other animals you don't want them getting in there and pooping in the rabbit feed a lot of people starting out will buy this stuff which is a mana pro this is the cheapest uh, feed you can get at a tractor supply I wouldn't recommend it this is tractor supplies brand it's not bad it's it's a little a little more expensive than mana pro but it's a good feed and I've used it this is what I used to use uh, and use this for the first couple of years of raising rabbits was uh, Purina Complete. And, of course, they have different kinds, but I've only seen the Complete. And that's good enough for my rabbits, and they've done well in shows. This is what I use now, which is from a local um, local place. It's a Flint River Mill uh, feed, and it's sold in California. Or not California. Sold in, uh, it's out of uh, Bainbridge, Georgia. They sell all the feed stores down here and I can get it the rabbits seem to like it and you know saves me a little bit of money on feed um so that's your options and feed but you got to make sure you got a source to get that feed before you get rabbits so you're going to get one rabbit or two just for pets you know the pet smarts and pet co's those are just fine for getting rabbit feed if you're going to have if you're going to raise rabbits for meat you probably would be more economical to find a tractor supply or a feed store somewhere. Now I buy hay by the bale because it's a lot more economical to buy it like that than to buy a small bag of hay like this that you can get in a lot of different places, including the Pet Smarts and those places. But the bales will save you money in the long run. A bale like this would last me a couple months or a month and a half at least. This is Timothy hay, which uh, grows in the northern states. doesn't grow down here, or I'd grow it myself. Um, you also can get orchard hay, which is a little more, um, but uh, it's a variety. The Timothy hay is what I, I, I get because it's the most available type of hay you can get. And rabbits are natural grass eaters anyway, so getting them grass hay is very important. Besides Timothy and Orchard hay, there are other hays. There's Bermuda grass, you could feed them, or fescue. And I know those those two you can you can definitely add instead if you can't get Timothy hay. I mean if you grow those hays in or those grasses in your yard, you could allow your yard to get a little larger and go out there and clip it for them and give it to them fresh if you want to do that. I wouldn't pull the clippings out of underneath your lawnmower because there's other things mixed in there and it's just not it wouldn't be right but um you can you know you, you can but they do need hay so that needs to be part of their daily diet besides the pellets they also need some grass hay to go along with it not um alfalfa they can eat alfalfa on occasion for a treat don't feed them consistently alfalfa it's alfalfa is not really that good for rabbits to eat too much of when they're young when they're still growing they can eat as much as they want once they reach adulthood it can give them kidney stones and in rabbits kidney stones can kill them so you have to be careful um i do get a alfalfa that's mixed with orchard hay a tractor supply of bale i happen to have that out there right now and i do give it to them on occasion but uh the preferred uh grass for them really is timothy hay because that's available now another thing um, you, that you should do um, is give them other uh, vegetables as a supplement to their diet. And they really love this stuff. And this is something 
you give once a day or what every other day is what I used to do every other day I give them a treat and that's a treat for my garden that's stuff that I grow in my garden or stuff I buy at the produce section at the grocery store although that's getting a little pricey so good thing I got my garden going so they get kale and other things like that so let's discuss the things you can feed them on a daily or every other daily basis as a little snack so to start off with, we've got arugula, basil, bok choy, uh, broccoli leaves, uh, butter, lettuce, cabbage. I wouldn't recommend cabbage. Cab ca carrot tops, that's the top part of the carrots, the greenery. Uh, cilantro, collard greens, dandelion greens, dill, uh, different kinds of lettuces that are not iceberg. Kale, lemongrass, mint, oregano, parsley, peppermint, pakachiki, whatever that stuff is, romaine lettuce, Rosemary, sage, spinach, spring greens, thyme, turnip greens, watercress, uh, wheatgrass, yo choy. I also would add uh, mustard greens too to that. Some of the things on the list, like romaine lettuce, is very high in fiber and it could give them diarrhea if they get too much of it. So be careful with uh, things like that because um, diarrhea can cause them to get dehydrated. And you don't want them dehydrated. Um, cabbage. Cabbage can cause ga gas in their stomach. I don't know why that was on the list. It was a list I got off the internet. But cabbage is something I wouldn't recommend. Maybe a little piece of cabbage as a treat. Because I'm going to go over treats you can give them too. This is this is supplement to their, ink, to their um, diet, really. And the other list is a, like a treat you can give them every once in a while. As giving rabbits treats, get them get them more adjusted to you, and you, the way to get to a rabbits uh, to love you is to give them treats to, through their stomach. Now these are things you can give them for occasional: uh, apples, not the seeds; uh, apricots, asparagus, bananas, bean sprouts, uh, beet greens, bell peppers, blackberries, blueberries, broccoli, cantaloupe, carrots, celery. Cherries, cranberries, cucumbers, eggplant, grapefruit, grapes, green beans, honeydew, kiwi, lemon, mango, orange, papaya, peaches, pears, pineapple, plum, pumpkin, raspberry, squash, strawberry, turnip, watermelon, and zucchini. Now, many of those fruits can be given to your rabbits, and sometimes they won't like it. You know, I give bananas to my rabbits, and they didn't. None of them like the rat banana. But some people feed them, feed their rat. So maybe different breeds like different things. Uh, my rabbits, I know some of them are get real. You know, a lot of them have their different favorites. I have ones that love mint. I have ones that love cilantro. I have some that go crazy over celery. Um, the inner part of the celery, the leafy part, that's the best part. Um, especially, so if I have pregnant mothers or baby rabbits, I always make sure they get that part of the celery when I go out there and take celery to them. But papaya is on the list, but papaya should be highlighted on the list because papaya promotes better skin and better fur and um, prevents hairballs. So... Um, there's a lot of, you go to rabbit shows and there's people that are feeding their rabbits papaya. I wouldn't feed them on a regular basis. Most of your good, uh, rabbit feed has papaya in it, your pellets. I mean, they're made of Timothy hay and a lot of different things that are known to be good for rabbits. And there's traces of papaya in there. I don't know how much, but, um, so I don't really have, you, a lot of times you don't really have to give them papaya, but it is note that people do. Papaya is kind of like a herbal remedy for rabbits. It's kind of like a, a, a medicine for rabbits to help them be a little healthier. Um, especially if you're going to show them you want their, you know, their, their hair to be just perfect, you know. So here's the things not to feed your rabbits. Okay, don't feed your rabbit bread, cheese, chocolate, coffee, <laughs> crackers. Some of these are no-brainers. Eggs, fish, fried rice, granola bars, ice cream, jam, meat, milk, no dairy, pasta, peanut butter, popcorn, yogurt, almonds, beans,
cashews, corn, lentils, peanuts, peas, quinoa, rice, seeds, um, seeds cover a lot, soybeans, walnuts, <laughs> and so on. Just Rabbits do not live on a grain-based diet, okay? They're, they're a grass-based diet, basically. But they do eat other occasional vegetables. Now, there's one exception to not feeding them any grains or seeds, and that is oats. I do feed my rabbits oat seeds from time to time. Like once a month, I'll put a little oat seeds in their food. Um, if they're pregnant, I give them oat, oats on a regular basis. You can even, if you can't find oat seeds, um, you can just feed them uh, rolled oats if you get the natural, the unflavored, unsugared, just regular rolled oats, and they'll eat them things right up. And they help promote milk in the mothers. And so it is something that, uh, you know, when they're pregnant or when they're nursing, you want to feed them oats. Um, also, another thing for oats is it helps put a little fat on them because oats are fattening for the rabbits. And when it gets... Winter time gets to come and you want them to have a little layer of fat to protect them from the elements. Um, so that's another reason to give them a little bit of oats. It helps keep maintain their uh, body size. They don't get too skinny and they're good, you know, if I have to show them. You don't want to feed them too many oats. You don't want them too fat because especially if you're raising meat rabbits, you don't want fatty rabbits. Um, you want them lean. But they do need, oats is something you can feed them. And something you might have have around if you're going to raise rabbits is a little bit of uh, natural just rolled oats. But I feed mine the whole seeds. Um, I also plant the seeds and feed them the oat grass from time to time. So um, that you know you get if you go to your feed mill or your uh, you know local feed supply place, they will have oats. I don't think Tractor Supply has them, but I know the uh, feed stores do. Now you can go online and get your lists of things you, to feed your rabbits and not to feed your rabbits. Some of it's no-brainer. Don't feed them any meat or eggs and that kind of stuff. Don't feed them no peanut butter. Um, don't feed them no bread. They're not like chickens and throw your leftovers and give them to your rabbits. You know, they're, they're specific. Don't feed them no iceberg lettuce. Because iceberg turns into mush in their stomach. It'll get them sick. <clears throat> so um, do your research on what you're going to snack. Your rabbits are going to need uh, their pellets. They're going to need their uh, hay. And they're going to need some supplement vegetables like kale and things like that on that first list. Kale is a very highly nutritious uh, food. And they love the hell out of kale. When, they, when I bring a brought a bunch of kale into the rabbitry. The rabbits are dancing around. I'm literally there. You can hear them bum, 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 running around. They, they, they can smell that kale and they're excited. So, um, kale's easy to grow. So you can grow a whole bunch of your own kale. You can buy some at the store, mustard greens and, and collard greens or other things. You can also feed them the collard greens. You know, you buy in the store, you're going to get a big bunch. You better have a bunch of rabbits. If you're going to give them collard greens. Uh, they don't sell small quantities that, you know, the uh, kale, it depends on the time of year. I go to Walmart and I'll buy kale and come in a big bunch. And then I notice throughout different months of the year, the bunches are smaller. And so it's, sometimes it's not really worth buying. Buy them a little thing of cilantro or parsley. They love parsley as well. And, uh, and if you have a garden, you can grow at least some of your garden space for your rabbits. Grow kale and arugula and parsley and some of these fancy lettuces. Um, you can't grow them in the hot summer. A lot of those plants won't grow in the heat. Spinach is another thing. It wasn't on the list. But spinach is another thing I feed my rabbits. So and you can grow mint, um, you know, in the hotter months. And basil. And they'll eat that stuff too. So just figure out what will grow in, in, in your climate. And um, that will help you in feeding your rabbits and giving them... Uh, a more healthier diet. That's most important for, for you. If you're raising rabbits for meat, it's important for them to have a healthy diet. If you're raising them as pets, it's important for them to have a healthy diet. 
So for either reason you're buying rabbits, uh, you want them a healthy diet. 